Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly singles love reading for Aquarius. Aquarius, let's see what's happening with you. New love prospects. This one wants to come out. New love prospects and connections. Okay, you got a few cards desperate to come out. Some of you may be weighing the pros and the cons here. So you may be feeling something is off. You may be taking stock of your life here. So I feel it's an energy of your kind of not budging here. Okay, it's energy of protecting yourself. Yeah, you're probably just weighing the pros and the cons and making a decision. So it's about taking stock of your life. Um, you may have uh, to make a decision. You may have some options here, looking at all the possibilities. You're definitely in protective mode, though. Now, you could be keeping yourself stuck here. We'll see. Yeah, I see the chariot. And we have uh, the king of swords, which could be yourself. Could be another person as well. We also have the knight of swords. Boy, these two have been showing up a lot. So I feel as someone here is analyzing a situation. It has to do with someone becoming more decisive. So someone who's been procrastinating, maybe they're juggling, they have options, or they're just trying to make a decision. It's almost like one minute this person is raring to go, full steam ahead, and the next minute they're kind of stuck. So it's you or it's this person, but it has to do with not rushing. Someone choosing their words very wisely not rushing into anything okay it's definitely i feel like it's a person who's um trying to just you know become clear and decisive about what they want here see it's someone who's likely rushed into something before okay so but it's also often an energy of someone who doesn't want you to get away <laughs> it's a little i feel a little push pull there see on and off should I or shouldn't I? Let's have a look at the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's definitely something new. Wow, okay. Has to do with being clear. So this is, I feel this is someone who wants to start something here, but I, you know, one minute they're kind of fantasizing and the next minute they're kind of procrastinating. Someone who has a tendency to go back and forth in their head. Should I start it or should I not? That's Oops, there we go, yeah. This is someone who's definitely a little apprehensive about starting it. So they, they want it to be successful. They're looking at the details. But this is a person who's slow and steady wins the race. We know the card. Yeah, this is someone who's definitely taken their time. Yeah, you may all of a sudden decide to move on, though. I can see that energy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tell me about the Seven of Cups confirmation seven of cups there we go so uh, what i feel here is it's definitely someone who's they may be juggling they may have choices but i feel it has to do with starting something starting something new so they're looking for clarity you see uh, to make a decision so it's a person who has choices or options but uh, more often than not it's a person who kind of fantasizes it's like everything plays out in their head okay <laughs> before they actually make any kind of decision so we have the chariot yeah see there's that stuck not budging see this is someone taking stock of their life they're kind of this is someone who could be holding themselves ba back okay so this like i say one minute this person's full steam ahead the next minute they just no, stuck they're keeping something close to their chest ah there we go so this is see this is someone who doesn't want you to get away but yet they're you know, procrastinating and taking their time here and kind of dragging their feet a little you may be feeling like you're out of here though kind of protecting yourself but you know when i see these two someone's becoming unstuck they're taking that pentacle off the top of their head you see i love the way that's coming out so they're offering you something they want to start something they don't want you to get away yeah they're looking at all the possibilities how this will likely play out too so they're kind of in protective mode let's have a look at the knight of swords why is this here for aquarius they could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a little Leo energy. And there we go, yeah. This person's going to invite you somewhere, take you out on a date. They want to start this. So you know, they could actually be, you know, it's possible they have been dating other people. But this is a person who's about to make a choice. 
okay a decision now you may not even know this person but they want to start it okay yeah they've been kind of stuck this is someone who's been a little bit stuck i feel more stuck in their head than anything yeah not too sure and it is possible this is an invitation so they may invite you somewhere you may meet uh, meet this person someplace if you are in protective mode okay yourself you know this is someone on online dating or social media you may uh, take drive yourself there i don't think you'll let this person pick you up yeah meeting out in public but i see some positive news some kind of an invitation to an event this is how it's going to start you know they want it to be successful so this person is definitely someone who's a little ruled by their ego you see but they're planning for success they're preparing for it so i feel this is something that's going to go quite well this could go somewhere okay that's definitely someone who will give you a lot of attention they're probably looking too to see if you're seeing anyone else who you're giving attention to. So it's more than likely someone in your social circle or in your community that goes to the same places that you go. Yeah, see, they're becoming confident about a decision. They're taming the beast, the ego. Okay, this definitely has someone with a sense of pride. So look at that. Strong Leo, little Sag energy. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so someone who's just kind of waiting <laughs> you could be waiting for this person it's possible you're waiting for them to start something you may start looking elsewhere it's possible you're out of here you know but i feel mostly it's just this person's energy of looking out there this person may be like i say they're moving slow they may feel like you know it's too late because it's also an energy of someone getting away here so i, I really feel like it's someone who's been procrastinating a long time yeah Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, they're tempering their passions, their emotions. So it's an energy of this person looking at this. They're looking at this a little differently here. Okay, now it could be someone in your social circle that starts looking at you differently. <laughs> no. Not really sensing a lot of insecurity because I feel this is an energy of someone taming the beast okay now becoming more confident that this can be successful so i feel they're really leaning towards that uh, victory here <laughs> yeah and the temperance being patient making a decision yeah if you know who this is i feel like you're just you know being patient trying something different yeah, this could be the one, but this is energy of someone who definitely looks at all the possibilities. They likely find you attractive. More than likely, it'll be a vice versa here. Yeah, this is likely someone is used to being chased too. That's what I feel. They're used to people chasing them. So, you know, this is someone who needs to gain that confidence to become that chaser. <laughs> can see the energy of them kind of trying to temper their passions you see you know they want this though yeah see look at that so there's definitely something to do with a, a house a home a strong financial foundation it's a reason to celebrate so this is that positive energy they're pulling back and seeing this difference so this is someone who's just kind of back and forth really in their head they're trying to be patient you're likely going to have to be. They could be just someone different than your usual type too, or you're different, you know, than their usual type. So like they, they, they're, they're kind of like looking at all the possibilities, how this could play out. That's really, I feel how this person is, you know, it's like they're preparing themselves. They're prepared that they may not, you know, may not be successful, but they're confident. See? Yeah. <laughs> confident that it's going to be see it's about investing so they're waiting for the right opportunity as well if you're if this this could be someone in your social circle very well you know, kind of checking you out a little bit and i feel they're gonna they want to start this it looks like an invitation so this is an energy of someone taming the beast their passion so there's a lot of passionate energy okay so they're taming that there it's an energy of someone who's going to be patient the knight of swords are not going to rush into anything so they tell themselves <laughs> tell me about the sun yeah so there's definitely a connection so it looks like you may have already met this person but it's like you're both holding back nobody's budging nobody's moving okay uh, but it is an energy of a soulmate this could be a friend 
It really could. Someone around you who's looking at you differently. They're having their feelings are changing. You see? I'm starting to fantasize here. <laughs> yeah, see? That's a, starting to fantasize. See? They're in a hurry. But they're, I feel it says they're taming the beast, not rushing. You see? Uh, I, I feel it's an energy. It's trying to tell me something with this rushing with the Knight of Swords. Definitely choosing their words wisely. Uh, choosing their battles, whether something's worth fighting for, whether it'll be a victory. See? So it's about they're hoping this pays off. Likely something to do with the timing, too. If it is someone around you, you might have people around you all the time. They may be waiting for the right time, uh, waiting for some specific event. We built the Four of Pentacles here. There we go. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups with the Chariot. Little Cancer energy. So it's energy of controlling your emotions and being patient. So it's saying if you know who this is and you've already, you know, made this connection, uh, I definitely uh, can see you having to be uh, tame that beast within yourself to control your emotions. Don't let them rule you kind of energy. But I feel like that's what they're kind of doing too. You see? <laughs> Yeah, there's a little protective mode, not budging. Yeah, they have to start it. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups. Oh, Queen of Cups, there we go. Uh, little Pisces or Cancer energy there. So, trusting your intuition, your inner knowing. You probably know who this is. But it has to do with your power okay it has to do with this person being determined for something to be successful so this could be like a secret admirer as well but i feel it's just telling you to trust your intuition you probably know who it is yeah definitely there's a place where people congregate where they spend money so there's a place where you probably go here but it has to do with feeling safe and secure so if it is someone you're meeting online you do want to make sure you go to a place that's public with pe lots of people where you feel safe and secure okay yeah yeah tell me about i'm scared to go on this ace of pentacles here it feels like a little bit of a unique situation, yeah. See, someone's not so sure. This person's a little worried about being rejected here, but they don't want to miss this opportunity. So now it's possible you've missed an opportunity with this person already because I feel they were waiting, or they have. They're waiting patiently for some event, waiting for maybe to get you alone, someone who wants to get you alone. Uh, often I see that wand as that, someone who needs to get you alone because I feel like you're never alone, Okay. You always have somebody with you. So this is where this is someone who, like I say, has is, is, is missed an opportunity. But it could be yourself too. I feel it's energy of two people not budging, not moving here. It's like you're both waiting for the other person to say something. Tell me more about this Two of Cups. Could just be a friend too, you know, where you're both aware, but no one's moving. Yeah, it's emotional film. It's two people putting all their cups out there. This could be a friendship, you know. It's a lot of emotional fulfillment, yeah, a little Pisces energy. So it looks as though someone here, it could be someone just checking you out, taking a little pause, but it's the inner, this is energy of clarity. See, someone looking at things from a different perspective. It's also a person trying to figure out what makes them happy as well. So, yeah, it's about putting all the cups on the table, sharing all your feelings. A little introspection, gaining some kind of clarity, some kind of insight. Tell me about the three of wands. Yeah, see, there we have it. See, it's an energy of knowing your worth and your value, but it's about releasing something. Now, this person could be actually somebody quite popular, someone who always has people around to them, whether it's you or them. But it's about letting go of things that no longer serve, looking at things from a different perspective. So it, this, I feel this is someone here who needs to let go of something that no longer serves them. That's slow-moving energy because now they're in, in a hurry. Because I feel, and it could be because you know, you're getting out and socializing. Maybe they're seeing you out and about more. Looking to see who's giving you attention. But I feel this is someone becoming more confident about investing. You see? Yeah, see? There's that the emotions, the feelings. This is definitely someone looking for love. They are emotionally mature. They're available. But I feel they're waiting to get you alone to talk, to communicate. They want to connect one-on-one. -on -one. 
They don't want other people involved too. I feel they just want to kind of keep it uh, to yourselves for a while here. But yeah, and if it isn't someone you know and it's someone you've met online dating, do make sure you go to a safe place, okay? All right, with this person. Yeah, you may not be so sure of this offer, this opportunity, but I'm telling you, don't miss this opportunity, okay? Especially if it's someone just in your community, you know, friends of friends or everyone kind of knows uh, everybody. I, that's the strongest energy here, just a little on the online dating. Yeah, you might just say no thanks here to someone too, you see, because you don't feel safe and secure. You don't, you know, there's something here with your intuition. Maybe you feel something is off. Okay, so definitely trust that intuition. But there's an energy of that crossroads, that choice, going down this path, taking things to the next level. So I feel this is someone here is going to approach you. And it's how they're going to approach you too. You may have the bar raised a little high. You could be a little unapproachable. You could be giving off that uh, single, that signal that, you know, um, I don't really feel like you're giving off the single that you want to be s single. It's more like raising the bar high. Because um, I feel it's like this person may feel you're out of their league a little bit. But we've got the King and Queen of Cups. You both have a similar energy uh, looking for love, you see. So it has to do with, there it is, taking off that pentacle, teamwork, cooperation, compromise. So... Yeah, but I see this person here. I mean, this could be yourself here with the King of Swords. You could be the King of Cups, so definitely flip that energy. But I see this need to go down this path. So it's an energy of someone, it's someone who needs a little boost of confidence. Okay, that's what I feel, a little boost of confidence here. But it has to do with collaborating. So there could be somebody else connecting the two of you. Uh, somebody may be giving someone advice. <laughs> And I also see an energy of maybe, you know, like a little matchmaking. But I, it's about going down this path. It's about two people building each other up, okay? So it's energy of this person building up their confidence. They need a little boost. But maybe it's yourself as well here. If you're the Queen of Cups, you may be the one needing the boost. Because I feel as though you're... There's something about feeling safe and secure, uh, uh, someplace where you're going, someplace public, where you're in protective mode, see? But I feel like you're not budging. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. Maybe keeping your feelings a secret for someone. And they could, you know, it's a little secret admirer, a little admiration. This is someone who absolutely adores you. I can tell you that much. See, there it is. This is someone who's in a hurry. They don't want you to get away. They don't want you to go out and meet someone else. This is someone who wants you all to themselves. Okay, that's the the vibe I get. They want to get you alone. They may invite you to their home. They want to talk. They want to connect. They want to have that conversation. They don't want to do it in public. Definitely not. Yeah, see, they want to know. It's this energy of single, you see, investing. So it's more than likely someone who's holding back. Maybe they're not sure you're single if you have people around you all the time. But I, it's definitely someone who's very earthy. They're definitely single. There's no doubt this person's, you know, they're definitely not in any kind of relationship. If they were dating other people, I feel uh, they're definitely making a choice and choosing you, okay? And they definitely don't want you to get away, but they're choosing their words, choosing their battle, choosing what to fight for, okay? Is this something worth fighting for? Because they're looking at how it could play out, you see? You may just want to be single. Maybe you're giving them the impression you want to be single. Maybe you're a little closed off in protective mode, okay? So it is possible because there it is. These are usually the two cards I see when someone raises the, the bar pretty high because you know your worth, you know? Um, but I think this person adores you. So there's an energy of truth and success. So the light bulb's going off. So I feel they're determined. They're trying to come up with some kind of idea to get you alone. Okay. Yeah. Whoever they are, yeah, look at that. Could be a Gemini energy here, Aquarius. Yeah. There's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy here. So, of course, you're the Aquarius, but yeah. I, some of you, it's more of a masculine energy. 
But I feel with the lovers, you're making this choice. You see the aha moment that has to do with love. This is someone who wants love. And if they do, if it is someone who doesn't know you're single and they find out you are, yeah, they're definitely going to approach if they're waiting for the right time. Okay, and they're hoping that this pays off. <laughs> I feel they just want to get you alone to have a conversation. Yeah, they're being a little cautious. See, this is someone who's a little cautious, Aquarius. Okay. Yeah, they're they're playing it safe here. Choosing their words wisely. Going to be careful what they say, you see. Especially if there's people around. I feel they don't want... Uh, everyone to know it could be gossip things like that but it's really about just they want you to themselves they want to uh, get you alone okay yeah if you are out and about if you are a little shy or apprehensive yourself um, separate yourself from the crowd a little bit okay the people that you're talking to around kind of move away from them to give this person an opportunity because i do feel they're private i feel they want to keep this between the two of you uh, until you're sure it's successful okay that it's going to go somewhere I feel this is someone who doesn't like a lot of gossip I don't like a lot of people being involved here okay all right aquarius let's have a look at that three of pentacles i'm using another deck here we go yeah, so it's a little bit of fear of a third-party situation. So this person has been a little heartache, okay? Yeah, there's been a little bit of heartache here. So this is why I feel it's involving other people. So that's the fear of involving other people or a third party, you see? It is possible, some of you, maybe there's been some gossip. Maybe you heard something, okay? This person's moving slow that they're seeing other people. But I really feel it's more, and yeah, it is possible that... They might have been dating other people, but they're making a choice, you see. They're making some kind of a choice. This is someone who's thinking about, you know, commitment, going down that path. But it's it has to do with long term. Um, it's sort of an energy of this person kind of planning for this to be successful. Something here, I feel they missed an opportunity. It wasn't successful. The timing wasn't right. That's why I feel like you've already had some kind of conversation you've made some kind of connection i feel like it was good um, i feel it was you know a happy moment i feel it was emotionally fulfilling but you there there's that light bulb see the reflection they're reflecting on something here i just feel like it's someone i don't know maybe you've moved away from somebody and this person's finding out you're single it's coming out again, see? Yeah, I think it's someone, a lot of you, it's just whether you're single or not. You look single, but you're raising the bar high. Like you may even be giving the impression you just want to be single. That's what it, it actually looks that way. So that's the fear that you're not actually single or you, you're you not interested, you see? They might get rejected. This person definitely has an ego. They don't want to be rejected publicly, so this is the energy of that waiting again. Yeah, it's like you're waiting for them. They're waiting for you. It's, I do feel you're aware of each other. But it's about looking out there. May feel, maybe this person feels like it's too late. Maybe they've been procrastinating whether they should or they shouldn't. And they've waited too long. You may have actually uh, moved on here. Well... Yeah, it's the waiting game. Two pe both people waiting for someone. I feel most of you are aware of each other. Okay? I really do. It's the strongest energy, but it's like you're giving off the impression you just want to be single. Okay? Maybe you just want to be friends first. Maybe it takes a little time to feel safe and secure with someone. Maybe, you know, there's something going on with that feeling safe. Uh, it's, you know, an energy of partnering up. It has to do with... Um, this has to do, I feel, with a safe place out in public, trusting your intuition, okay? So there's an energy of being confident. It's there twice, the strength card. It's both of you. I, I feel there's going to be a connection here. I don't know if you've spoke to them. It almost looks like you have, but it, it also tells me they're holding back and not moving. They're not budging. Yeah. Could be something that you said. <laughs> um, you maybe raise the bar a little high something you said Aquarius okay 
Yeah. Or you're both thinking the same thing about the other person. Because I feel it's like you're giving the impression you want to be single. Maybe you told somebody you'd rather be single. Could be something because it, it's like they're having a little moment, a, a little reflection. So maybe it's yourself. You'll take a pause and kind of reflect at what happened that you've connected. Okay. So pretty interesting read, but I feel this person's cautious. I do think they're coming in. And I feel they're gaining that confidence the more they kind of think about it, right? They're feeling more confident. I feel they need a little boost, some kind of encouragement, okay? Some sort of acknowledgement uh, that you're interested, <laughs> but you're not budging. <laughs> yeah, you've had some heartache, I feel, possibly in the past too. And it's possible you're thinking the same thing, that they're seeing somebody else. Well, there could be a lot of gossip and talk, you know. That's why I feel this person's kind of private. They they want to get you alone, see. They're waiting for something to pay off. They're waiting for the right time. Waiting ever so patiently. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, I feel they're going to come in, but they're cautious. They're going to be careful how they communicate. They're being careful what they wish for. But I feel this is, they, they really want this. And I feel like you're going to get something you want here too, because I see the two people forming a bond and connecting. So two people building each other up. So it's about building up the, both of you building each other up, building up each other's confidence. Okay, that's what I feel is, is how this is going to go in the end. But they are definitely uh, someone who uh, wants success. They want this victory, okay? And they will tell you the truth. They'll tell you, okay? They'll tell you the truth. Whatever that truth is, they'll tell it to you. And they want because they want it to be successful. So it's definitely someone who is a little cautious. So they're likely going to tell you. Like if this person's been around you and you feel like they're not acknowledging you, so you're not budging right? They feel the same way, I feel. But if they're not acknowledging you and you're not budging, you see, that's where I feel they become a little careful, a little cautious. And that's that truth, I feel, that they're, they're going to say here. See, it's about making a choice. They weren't very confident because of the, um, maybe there was a lack of acknowledgement or you just gave the impression. You raise the bar pretty high because you know your worth. I can see it, Aquarius, you see? I can see right there. You see? Yeah. You may have given the impression that you just want to be single. Something you may have said, or you maybe said it to somebody else and it was relayed. Like I say, there could be other people involved. So, all right. Yeah, I feel it's just a little more patience here. It's, it's basically saying, let them know that you're interested. Okay. And if you have people around you, if you have a place where you're going you know, somewhere, and it could be anywhere, it could be a park, a shopping mall, a market, you know, it could be a pub, a coffee shop, it could be when you, you know, on, on your break from lunch, anywhere, some place where you're going that's social. It's a happy place, a friendly place, you know, but it's telling you to kind of separ separate yourself, kind of break free you know, from the people that you're around so they can make their move. <laughs> Because they are definitely looking for love, you know. I feel that it's like they kind of want to go about this the right way. They want to start it off right. And I do feel they're worried. Their ego, they're being ruled by their ego. See, they don't want to be rejected publicly. I feel that's the biggest energy. So take care, Aquarius. I wish you the best and bye for now.